Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the EC20 uh, main motor error. Uh, actually, looks like this. EC20, EC20 main motor over time. This uh, error basically means that the motor for some reason cannot move the machine or the main shaft of the machine. So, first thing that I would recommend is to clear this and to move the main shaft right here. This is the knob to, main, to move the, the whole main shaft to see if you can feel obstruction. If you are able to move it by hand, means that obviously the motor will be able to move it. Now also, the main shaft can be stuck or jam if you're not oiling your machine in these holes right here. You've got one in the front and we've got one on the back. Now, the purpose of the oil right here is to lubricate a bushing that we have inside so the main shaft can be lubricated and, and can run properly. If there's no oil in those uh, bushings, uh, the heat uh, obviously will expand the metal and it will make the machine or it will jam your machine. Okay, so you have to be very careful and put one drop of oil or two drops of oil each week like the sticker says right there. If you feel some obstruction here, and even if you don't feel uh, an obstruction, I always will recommend to inspect underneath this needle plate, which is the rotary hook. So we need to inspect the rotary hook to see if there's nothing there blocking our main shaft or producing an obstruction for the machine. So we need to move the main shaft man manually just to make sure that everything is okay here. If, take this cover off and maybe inspect on the back of the rotary hook to see if you don't have thread on the back of the rotary hook. Sometimes it happens. And uh, if, if there's no obstruction, other th place that I will recommend to check is you will need to remove the cover of the back of the machine right here just four screws one here in the top one in this side and two on the back just remove this cover and you will see this is what we call our dry box and here it's where we connect all the motors the Y motor the X motor and the main motor are connected to this box. This first line right here, it's where the main motor is connected. Now for me, right now, in order to make the machine have that error on purpose, I disconnect this cable and I turn on and if I try to make it run, it won't run, obviously it will give me the main motor error. If I turn my machine off and then I connect this cable right here, if I connect that cable, I turn on my machine, you will see that my error will disappear. Now the main shaft is moving. You can see the rotary hook now it's moving, there's no error. So what I will recommend, I will recommend here to inspect your uh, cables to sometimes you need to disconnect and put it back in. In this case, unplug the cables and inspect we got a little screws right here that put pressure to the cables in order for have contact with the with this plug. So I will recommend to uh, inspect that all these screws are tight. What I will do is to unplug and then to put it back in. 
This also this this connector it's the encoder of the motor. So very careful, you need to disconnect very careful. There you go. And then I will plug back in. This cable basically it's to transfer the data from the board to the uh, to the dry box. And this gray cable it's where it's connected to the motherboard. The motherboard sends the signal we connect it to the dry board and then the dry board we have this cable to send the signal to the dry box which is this one. So here the first line it's where uh, the main motor it's connected. Uh, so try to inspect the connections here in order to see if we can fix that uh, error. Other possible thing that causes that error is the sensor, the stop position sensor right there. If the stop position sensor it's not working properly, it's not giving the signal to the motherboard where is our 100 degree, that's what it does. Basically tells the machine where it has to stop. To detect the one every time the machine stops the machine must stop at 100 degree so that sensor it's the one who tells the machine where's the 100 degree so if that sensor is not working and the motherboard is not receiving the signal you also will have the ec20 uh main motor error okay uh, why this uh sensor can be damaged okay if you are putting too much oil, right here you have to put two drops of oil or one drop of oil every week. If you're putting too much oil here, the oil will spread out of the bushing and it will spread the, uh, the sensor. And then all the magnets will be covering oil and it won't work. Uh, what I will recommend is to take out the sensor clean it up with a clean q-tip make sure that those magnets are clean put it back in and then you test it to see if that correct the problem okay but that those three uh, possible things are what can cause the main motor error now the worst case scenario it's that our main motor goes down if the main motor is not working properly it doesn't respond also we're going to have that EC20 main motor error. So, but uh, most cases I have seen that connector, sensor, or sometimes your machine is jammed and the machine will not be able to turn. And that is the reason why uh, the error will come up. Okay, hope this video can help you out. Thank you so much.